I'll give the word.
3-2 fueled and ready to fight. Adler on me. We're going down. We'll hold the area. Be quick about it. Hostiles inside. <laughs> Really make you work for it, don't they? Here. Good God. 
Gentile 3 2 available for deployment. Hell, this gold toilet's worth that much. We trade it all for a WND. We're close. Allow I mentioned. How about that hard case there? Check it out. What do we got? The cradle. Panthean has a goddamn biological weapon. And they put this in Saddam's hands, too? A sample of it. Based on what I'm seeing in here. What'd you find? A disc. Some notes, all in Russian. The project's headed by Matvi Gusev. Sounds like you know him. I recognize the name. Gusev was a scientist in the Soviet Union's biological weapons program, Biopreparat. Intelligence had him fleeing Russia last year. Then he vanished. And Gusev gave the Pantheon a Soviet bioweapon? No. According to this, the cradle came from somewhere else. A research facility I'm familiar with. It's American. American? All right, visiting time's over, you three. We need your help up here. Head to top side. Let's move. Get what you wanted? Not exactly, but we got what we needed. We need to clear a pickup zone. Let's get to the palace rooftop.
incoming. Enjoy the view. has a biological weapon. The papers we found in that bunker, they had a name attached. Matt V. Goosey, a Soviet weapons scientist. We think he's still in Iraq, somewhere. Adler's volunteered to stay behind and track his ass down. I'll have Felix examine the disc we found while the rest of us investigate the origin of the cradle. If Adler's right, this thing may have come from a research facility on U.S. soil. A Soviet scientist and an American bioweapon. What the hell are we getting into? You've asked Tara about this supposed research facility. She's not picking up. I told her to look into Livingston. You think something's happened to her? If it has, it's my fault. The weight of the world on your shoulders. We know the risks. Yeah, well, this isn't exactly what I imagined. Because it's not just about you. How'd you feel about coming with me and Kay Stasi? I'd consider it. <laughs> Felix still in the kitchen. Don't complain. We ate well while you were off wandering the desert. He should be decrypting the disc Adler found. We need whatever's on it. Hey, Chef, you cracked that disc yet? <sighs> Patience, please. Cryptography is like preparing pufferfish. Rush through it and risk losing everything. Okay. Is he planning to serve us pufferfish? You said no complaining. I did, didn't I? Let me know when we're close to leaving. Fuck me! Yo, ask for help, man. Fuck you too! Fine, have fun. Does it look like I'm having fun? No, it's... N That's not what I meant. You got dealt a bad hand. You're gonna get dealt bad hands, kid. With us, the stakes are high. Be honest. I don't think I could have done it. Come back home after what happened in Panama. <clears throat> Trusted anyone again. You keep believing in the ones who got your back. Who go to battle for you. Adler was one of those. When those records termed up after Panama, the wire transfers to Adler from Raul Menendez two-bit dope slinger. I smell bullshit. Adler, turn against his brothers for cash? <laughs> Are you kidding me? Those threads he loves, they ain't cheap now. Listen, I know he can be a goddamn psychopath. I get it. But he's on our side. He just got his own way of doing things. I don't know what the rules are anymore. <laughs> You're figuring it out, kid. Handling things, making calls. I just wish I was out there kicking ass with you. Kills me to be in this thing. Hold on now, you listen. You're essential, man. All right, chair or no chair. I know you can't get around the way you used to, but this, this is strong. Maybe you were, maybe you were Captain America before and now. Now you're like 
Professor X. Who? Get out of my face, man. I'm afraid I'll need a little more time. Unless you come to help. Yet to be determined. I found these cookbooks in storage, but I'm afraid my Cyrillic skills are not as sharp as they once were. And I am working with ingredients that I could hunt and forage from the surrounding area. So, let's call it a stew. Shall we? Uh -huh. I see. Because I no longer desire to take a human life, you believe my heart bleeds for all creatures. It's an understandable assumption. However, these are very different circumstances. To hunt... Mmm, it's to be in symbiosis with nature. To take a life without due cause is parasitical. Society is a predatory structure. Those with power, whether legitimate or otherwise, prey on those without and use thugs, uniformed as I once was, or otherwise, to enforce their rule. The Stasi, CIA, organized crime in Avalon, most assuredly Pantheon, all are institutions of oppression. I bloodied my hands, burdened my soul with complicity, and now I live in shame. Never again. I cannot say. I think that makes us a necessary evil. Perhaps this is why I prefer computer systems. Ones and zeros. However, binary thinking is not conducive to modern existence. Social systems are complex webs. I think we can only navigate the gray and hope that history views us favorably. Whatever it contains is locked behind some rather impressive encryption. I was able to write a program to decrypt it. But the truth is, I am stumbling in the dark at best. Not so much picking the lock as drilling through the tumblers. Hmm. Considering where you found it, the logical assumption is that it holds data pertaining to a weaponized biological agent. Hmm. Or pornography. Feel free to come by the kitchen later. Might need a test subject. Case. Need something before we go? Oh, that's not fair. I need to generate revenue, Case. Taking down Avalon's crime factions isn't cheap. Don't get me wrong. You have a noble pursuit. But it isn't my fight. 
I'm not American. Don't have a misguided sense of patriotism like Marshall over there. Adler's only interested in whatever connections Avalon has to the Pantheon, if any. He could care less about my own mission, or anyone else's for that matter. Don't expect any bleeding heart behavior from him. A very long ten miles down the mountain. To the nearest town. Rustic, you might call it. Place was depressing. But I hate having nothing to do, and I wasn't keen on being cooped up here with woods. What? Over the acting? Please. Not worth the energy. Contrary to Marshall's manly sensibilities, I could have helped. But you made it back alive, so... Stay strong. Do me a favor and check on Felix, will you? Not in the mood right now. It seems the KGB operatives that lived and worked here in the 1960s took orders directly from Nikita Dragovich. The Soviet general that Alex Mason and Jason Hudson terminated in 68. Activities took place here without the knowledge of Soviet leadership or the KGB itself. Almost like the Russian equivalent of the Pantheon.
was a love letter taped to the chalkboard, which was hidden behind a makeshift curtain. He eyed the woman sitting on the rug as she listened to the sounds of his guitar. There was a love letter taped to the chalkboard, which was hidden behind a makeshift curtain. He eyed the woman sitting on the rug as she listened to the sounds of his guitar. There was a love letter taped to the chalkboard, which was hidden behind a makeshift curtain. He eyed the woman sitting on the rug as she listened to the sounds of his guitar. There was a love letter taped to the chalkboard, which was hidden behind a makeshift curtain. He eyed the woman sitting on the rug as she listened to the sounds of his guitar. There was a love letter taped to the chalkboard, which was hidden behind a makeshift curtain. He eyed the woman sitting on the rug as she listened to the sounds of his guitar. There was a love letter taped to the chalkboard, which was hidden behind a makeshift curtain. He eyed the woman sitting on the rug as she listened to the sounds of his guitar. There was a love letter taped to the chalkboard, which was hidden behind a makeshift curtain. He eyed the woman sitting on the rug as she listened to the sounds of his guitar. There was a love letter taped to the chalkboard, which was hidden behind a makeshift curtain. He eyed the woman sitting on the rug as she listened to the sounds of his guitar. There was a love letter taped to the chalkboard, which was hidden behind a makeshift curtain. He eyed the woman sitting on the rug as she listened to the sounds of his guitar. There was a love letter taped to the chalkboard, which was hidden behind a makeshift curtain. He eyed the woman sitting on the rug as she listened to the sounds of his guitar. There was a love letter taped to the chalkboard.
We'll bust out of here soon. Everything's on the board when you're ready. Save it, Case. Adler believed the Pantheon gained access to a military research facility called Advanced Technologies and Applications. Sounds impressive. It's located in eastern Kentucky. The building is marked as cost for solutions on the surface. Underneath, it's a whole different story. This place looks pretty remote. Nothing but forests and hills. We should park a few miles out, hike the rest of the way in. Once we're inside, our target is the biotechnology wing. Adler thinks that's where the cradle may have come from. We need some answers on what this thing does. Didn't you say Adler worked there at some point? Briefly, about 10 years ago. He mentioned unusual classified programs there using human subjects. Then suddenly the place was shut down and quarantined after a biohazard incident. The cradle. It's sure looking that way. Sev, how's it going on your side? Still looking for a way in. The north doors are totally sealed. You? Case and I are in South Gate Utility Entrance. Looks like someone's been through here recently. Use the freight elevator. Chain's broken. All right, Matt, go. Your turn. Hang on, I'm going
Attention all staff and visitors. We are currently experiencing a hazardous material incident. This is not a drill. Attention all staff and visitors. We are currently experiencing a hazardous material incident. This is not a drill. Technology restricted. Please see security for access. It's for you. Most of the facility is off limits to patients. I hope you understand. Welcome back, Case. Biotechnology restricted by Security Access 4. Four director key cards required for entry. Bringing back memories yet? We thought we'd never see this place again. Do not return to collect personal possessions. Evacuate in Those are the stairs we want. Thank you. Don't worry. The cradle can't hurt us anymore. We're special. Special since we first experienced the cradle ten years ago. Should be 
malfunction detected. Please wait for technical support. should be safety locked when not in testing.
reminder that weapons should be unloaded and locked away at the end of every shift. another way up. We're stronger and faster than the rest of these. That's what the cradle was originally designed to do.
Research participants, please secure all personal effects in the locker room. Gearing up is critical if you plan to tour the... Uh-oh, looks like we have unexpected visitors today. Cognitive research will be temporarily closed for upgrades the week of June 9th. Thank you. Research will be temporarily closed for upgrades the week of June 9th. Thank you. Someone left something important inside that bathysphere case. Access gate opened. We'll need to drain the water.
science and psychology point the way to the
another key card. Two left to find. Cradle Project failed in this case. We were out of control, violent, maniacal. And in our rage, we sabotaged this facility. Contaminated it with the same poison that runs in our veins. Remember? Director key card accepted. Airflow control is currently malfunctioning. The staff was absolutely thrilled with the results of last week's cradle trial. You're exceeding all of our expectations. In fact, uh, we think you're ready for the next step.
restraints may be necessary at times as well. I, I sincerely apologize. Uh, just until we understand these recent behavioral changes. Safety is our top priority. at the making of a cradle here. They used to take their reports to the director. Now it's up to us. Maybe he'll give us his keycard in return. We found the first report. They were all complicit. Check the conference room, please.
Jetzt. Director key card accepted. Access to biotechnology granted. After the 
density. That means to shut the cradle port back down. I dissolve the hand being to the sea. That means to is uncomfortable. Afterwards, we were rehabilitated. <laughs>
whatever trip you've been on, I'm glad I wasn't invited. Easy on your feet. Can't believe you even made it up here. Case, we have something. Check it out. Someone took a large batch of whatever this stuff is. Last summer, by the looks of it. The Pantheon. This must be the crater. What is it? A hallucinogen? Seems so. In case you were ready to tear us both apart. Never seen that look in your eyes before. Hope we don't see it again. Let's get the hell out of here. Something you should see. No popcorn? I'm serious. Well, you got my attention. <laughs> you cracked the disc. Indeed. No, no, no. You must make sure that... Yes, you have it. Ready, Dr. Gusev? Bring her in. Subject 18 has been infected with the cradle. She's now in proximity to our control subject. Transmission should occur momentarily. It's a biological weapon. You know this already. Keep watching. Faster this time? Faster, yes. And more aggressive, as requested. Wonderful. Isn't that your friend? Harold? You did that. Apparently so. Turn it off. I still have a few more minutes. I said turn it off! Grab the other end, will you? Good to see you up. I imagine that bender you are on is still taking a toll. And you know, learning that your friend is a huge bitch. At least you missed the house collapse last night. Right into the water. I don't know about you, but I might start sleeping outside. Let's drop them right here. Somebody! I don't want to bother Marshall. So sloppy. What? This again? It's near the end of the video. Listen. Okay. Listen. I was able to isolate Gusev's audio this moment in the background. Now. Still waiting for B-24, a wire from Fuchina. B-24, a wire from Fuchina. Who the hell's Fuchina? I have no idea. Not who, what. Fuchina is the casino Lutazzi. Only the Lutazzis and their business partners use that alias. Adler suspected 
An Avalon faction was connected with the Pantheon. Now we know. Not bad. What about B-24? I have done some work for the Lutazis. Regrettable, yet profitable. <laughs> I have a contact that might be willing to shed light on that. Would help Felix uh, connect the dots here. So I have you two. We need a plan. Marshal! Can I talk to you? You're unusually quiet. Give me a hand with this. Harrow meant that much to you? We working or we talking? Not trying to push. It's clear you're taking this pretty hard. Wouldn't you? Yes. I suppose I would. And did. Don't. What? Don't act like you know how I'm feeling. Your pain is your own, Marshal. But I'm no stranger to betrayal. Yeah? How about when the person you trusted the most turns out to be a supervillain? How about that? Tragedy is not a competition. I don't want to pep talk right now. I am trying to tell you what you need to hear, not what you want to hear. And you think that this is what I need right now? I was once like you. Did what I was told. Trusted what the people in my life told me. Know what that got me? A life of crime. Loss. The only person real in my life. The only person who saw me, the real me. Gone. Forever. And I pulled the trigger. Say, if I... No, the rules have changed! But the game hasn't. Either accept defeat or take a stand. Broken wall. Just what we needed, right? I need some time, Case. Case, beginning to think you're invincible. We can't talk about it. You still with me? Yeah, he called. Said he won't be home in time for dinner. He's still searching for Gusev in Iraq. Never leads a dead end so far. But quit ain't in Adler's vocabulary. So, we'll see. Is Livingston a world-class asshole? abso fucking -lutely. But Harrow? <laughs> She's unhinged. Not sure if I buy them being in the same league. Do I think it was Harrow? Don't know. Probably. Pantheon's got a war chest. Could be she traded me, Mason, and Hudson for a mountain of cash. Raul Menendez is swimming in drug money. Wouldn't surprise me at all. Nah. Kid's grown up a lot last couple weeks. This might feel like a nasty setback, but he'll pick himself back up. He's resilient. I got faith in that son of a bitch. Shit's getting heavy. No one here believes your contagious case. But a little more space, if you don't mind. <coughs> Been a day, huh, Case? The person you trust the most is the one most capable of hurting you. 
I do feel for Marshall. Years ago, I was involved with someone. His name was Pascal, another member of the guild. I had never met anyone like him. Someone who didn't take me at face value. He was convinced I wasn't a killer at heart. That I cared too much. And I believed him. I told guild leadership that I no longer wanted that life. They confided in me. They knew that Pascal was an operative from a rival family. He had infiltrated the guild to sow discord. Take our secrets. They had the evidence. So they had me orchestrate his assassination. The most difficult thing I've ever done. Yes. But it... It probably won't shock you, Case, to learn what happened next. The whole thing was a lie. He was innocent. I fled the guild and vowed to myself that I would bring the whole house down. Pascal was right about one thing. I do care too much. But he also got something wrong. I am a killer. Irreversibly. Thanks for listening, Case. <laughs>